All right, this is Lily here. I'm gonna try to walk and hold the leash and the camera, which is difficult for me. So, so much of the, uh, the problems with these guys, girls, um, is being able to slow down, have some impulse control, um, and think about what they're doing um, instead of just reacting really fast. So, um, and needing confidence. So this is a good first step in some confidence boosting is just we have this little obstacle here. It's going over the cattle guard. They have to step up and they have to walk and it's really hard at first. They fall off. They are afraid to get on it and go over and not rush across it. So, um, Millie's doing really good with that. Um, so we're going to go for it. Let's see how she does. So I want her to stay in her sit when I'm stopped until I say the word, let's go, or okay. Um, to not be jumping up and moving all the time. So I'm going to say, okay, or let's go. Let's go. Good. So I'm going to just guide her up onto it. Not drag her up. That's a big thing. And I'm going to have her sit. And she sat without falling off. Good. So I'm not going to drag her up onto things. That's a big thing. It's real easy with these little ones to just drag them along when they're afraid of something. Because um, they're so light high. Um, but it's really important not to drag them. Like a little bit of pressure till they come forward and let off it. They, they need to do it themselves if they're going to build confidence. Just with some direction from the leash. And you let's go so I don't want her to rush I'm gonna keep stopping her and let her sit and say this is a little scary but nothing bad's happening let's go there good so walk along she's staying at my pace now it's really important we're gonna change speeds right now to go faster and slower, but when she gets going in this fast stuff, she gets a little checked out and zoomy. So it's important, good, to make sure she take your walk slow and she stays right with pace with you and a lot of stopping and auto sitting. Good girl. So changing changing pace and changing directions and stopping having an auto sit um, we don't want her paying attention to what's going on everywhere else to just be jumpy and afraid of we want her to pay attention good to us and she's not I mean she's she's paying enough attention to stick right with me keep her leash nice and loose and keep at my pace and at my side, but she's scanning, looking for anything to jump, to be jumpy about. Good girl. But the more we do this and change directions, good, keep on the right side, the more she checks in, good the more she'll be tuning out the other stuff, not have to be, in, be on guard about all the time. So, nice auto sitting. And then we're gonna move away. She can sit still. Drop the leash. That's really good. Having to hold herself Still and calm. Good girl. Pick up the leash. And picking up the leash does not mean that we're going again. She's waiting really patiently for the magic words. So, let's go. So, the more we just slow it down, slow her down, um, 
and get her thinking and being patient about everything and relaxing. When she gets a little nervous and wants to rush, that's when we slow down. We do this and we have just wait however long it takes for her to calm back down and relax um, instead of rushing through it. So we had to work on that cattle guard thing for a while. Just slow way, 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 way down, painfully slow. Break it down into tiny little steps so there wasn't rushing. And now she's pretty much mastered that. But we have to do that with pretty much every single thing that we come upon. So like I said, with these little ones, it's too easy to just let them get crazy because they're not going to be pulling you down when they when she jumps to the end of her leash and rushes past. Um, and mostly, they get dragged around if they're scared and don't want to do something or they're trying to rush or back up, put on the brakes. It's just too easy to just drag them around and not be sensitive to them, not do your part on your end of the leash to pay attention to them. It's just really easy with the little ones. It's kind of like the tables are turned Instead of having a 150 pound Rottweiler not paying any attention to you on the end of the leash, that's, that's you. So don't, don't be that Rottweiler. You have to be really sensitive to your end of the leash that you're not dragging them through things um, and pulling them around. Just makes a nervous, fearful dog more nervous and fearful. You can drag them through something that they're afraid of and they're just more afraid of it then. Or you can just guide them gently and patient with patience so they do it on their own, not being dragged. And, um, and then they can build their confidence about stuff instead of getting more afraid. Come on. So let's another stop. Good. All right. That's it for now on this beautiful day. Follow Shorty up the hill. All right. See you later. Say bye, Millie. Say bye, Millie. Good girl.